I thought about doing a trade mastery guide and I might still do that. Let's face it, playing Megacorp instead of a vanilla trade build is in my opinion much more enjoyable. In order to play a Mega Corporation, you must have the Megacorp DLC, obviously. When you pick the Corporate Authority, you have access to special civics. There are roughly two types of Mega Corporations. You can play a standard Mega Corp or a criminal syndicate. We will talk about the standard normal Mega Corp first. They can build branch offices on any planet of any empire that they have a commercial pact with except for another Mega Corp. Branch offices are powerful. They give a large chunk of energy credits every month. Then you can build many different buildings that net you all kinds of resources. Gestalt empires cannot enter into commercial packs or have branch offices. So there is some RNG involved in how successful a megacorp is. For example, you could be surrounded by Gestalt empires and other megacorps, making branch offices an impossibility so do not feel ashamed if you have to restart your game for a better situation. I am not going to go over every branch office building, but I will go over what I believe are the important ones. So first, and possibly one of the best overall buildings, is the Mercenary Liaison Office. This gives you 10 naval capacity. These add up, especially early game. Private Mining Consortium gives 10 monthly minerals. There are many times where you are low on minerals for whatever reason. These will add more stability to your economy. Commercial form really helps with energy credits. The fast food chain can be built if you are low on food and do not want to use precious district slots. Virtual entertainment studios can be very good if you keep having a consumer goods deficit. So those are the buildings I find bring the most value. Have a different opinion? Go ahead and leave a comment. So branch offices can be very good for tall empires because you don't need planets to get your resources necessarily. So let's talk about criminal syndicates. The main difference is that they do not enter into commercial packs to open their branch offices. They can just do it. They still cannot open them on Gestalt empires or megacorps but they can everywhere else. The main weakness here is that branch offices have a 5% chance of being closed every month there is no crime. So what ends up happening in PvE is the computer will just spam enforcer buildings and close your branch offices that way. So all that influence and resources you put into that office is now wasted. Especially the influence loss is a massive L, so watch out for that. My best picks for criminal buildings are Pirate Freehaven for naval capacity, Wildcat Mining Operations for minerals, Smuggler's Port for office value. Finally, bio reprocessing plants for food and sealed drug labs for consumer goods is also helpful. In order to play Criminal Syndicate, you need to pick the Criminal Heritage Civic after you pick the Corporate Authority. My recommendation for standard Megacorp build is free traders for the first civic, and knowledge mentorship, ruthless competition, and or brand loyalty for the second and third. For criminal syndicate, you must pick the criminal heritage civic. The second and third can be from the aforementioned civics. So how should you play a megacorp? Well first, like any trade empire, you want to get the mercantile tradition immediately as your first tree. Then pick consumer benefits immediately after that. This will avoid consumer goods deficits. If you can get into a trade league federation, the better. If you do that, you get unity and consumer goods from your trade value. As soon as you find a non-gestalt, non-megacorp empire, build trust, then propose a commercial pact ASAP. Then start building branch offices with any extra influence that you're not using. Build buildings on those offices as new building slots open. In the beginning, I would build mercenary liaison offices to build naval capacity. Unless you are experiencing a deficit. Otherwise, just spam mercenary liaison buildings until you have so much naval capacity that an extra 10 won't mean that much. So, if you don't need the naval cap and you are not low on any resources, go ahead and build commercial forums. Try to build branch offices that have a value of 10 credits per month or higher first. I honestly would hold off on anything lower 
than that until they have grown. Branch offices cost influence and a large sum of credits, so make sure you save up in the beginning. As you build more and more branch offices, you may start floating a lot of energy credits. You can always use those credits to buy alloys to build ships. You could also build minerals to build more districts and buildings. You could also buy in bulk to stay ahead of deficits. Build commercial zones and administrative offices to produce trade value. This might seem bad and is counterintuitive, but trade hubs along with other trade-oriented starbase buildings don't really make that big of a dent when it comes to trade value. Better off using that for anchorages, even though I know some will disagree with me on that. In fact, I would make urban worlds here and there, especially habitats, and fill them with pops and commercial forums. Admin offices create manager jobs which provide trade value. Make sure you get the Universal Transactions Ascension perk as soon as you get it. This will keep all those commercial packs from sapping your influence into the ground. A must have. If you are a criminal syndicate, try to make contact with as many aliens as you can. You do not need to be friends with them, however. Try to stay ahead of the computer's crime reduction by building branch offices that produce a high amount of crime. All branch office buildings produce crime. The higher the crime on the world, the more profitable the branch office. Watch out, empires can get mad at you, so have a strong military ready to defend yourself if they decide to act on the expropriation Cassus belly. Again, make contact with as many non-Gestalt empires as possible. Criminal syndicates don't need commercial packs, so go ham. That's it for Megacorp Empires. There may be some stuff I left out, but I think I got most of it. Let me know if there was something I missed. I'll see you next time.